Hello everyone, Dusty Fly Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Power Tools. It basically allows us to tweak our power settings on the Steam Deck even further. Alright, so the first step we're going to want to do is press the Steam button, go down to Power, and press Switch to Desktop. While we wait for this, I'm just going to say I'm really close to a thousand subscribers, so if this video is helpful, please share it and please subscribe. Thank you. Alright, now that we are on the desktop, sometimes it can take a few seconds to load controls. There we go. Sometimes this needs to open the Steam thing. And basically we're going to want to open up a browser of your choice. For me, I'm going to use Firefox. Click on that. I'm going to press, not now. I'm going to click Decky Loader. You can go to the link. HTTPS, the usual, Decky.xyz, or there will be a link in the description if that is easier for you. All right, I actually downloaded two there. Move to desktop, boom, double click on that. Install Decky. Might ask you for your password if you have one for your sudo commands. If not, you can just hit OK. I'm gonna open up the password, well the keyboard, digital keyboard by pressing Steam plus X on my control. I'll be back once the password's set. Alright, the password set. I'm going to go for a release. If you're on a beta channel, you should probably go for pre-release, but I'm not in charge of any troubles you have with Steam Deck. Alright, it's as simple as that, but well, we're not done just yet. We need to return to gaming mode. Double click that. Alright, we are back in SteamOS. I'm going to move my camera for this. You can go ahead and press the three dots button or the quick menu, quick settings. Now you should notice we have a new plug setting. Go to the marketplace. And now I need to move my camera yet again. We are just going to look for, I believe it's called, it's called power settings. Sorry, I forgot the um, power tools. There we go. Install. Install. Now keep in mind that disclaimer it does have access to your full Steam Deck. Um, I don't mind that. I trust it. A lot of people do. But it's up to you. And if we open here, we can press advanced. I would not recommend changing most of the stuff unless you know. Governor, this can help change performance. You can downclock the memory. You can change the battery settings. Again, I would really not recommend doing that. Um, you can download profiles. You can export them. All of that. That's actually pretty new. I haven't seen that ever. Anyway, this can be useful for in a game like Hades, where you don't need the full performance on your Steam Deck. I've been playing this game. It is a must-have for your Steam Deck. If you have not played this game, get it. It was on sale for like $6 USD. It's a really good game. And then if we're playing a game like Sea of Thieves or Fallout 76, I can go ahead and go to Power Tools, Governor, change it to Performance. The fans will ram up. Uh, but we want that. We don't want more limits to power. No, I wouldn't change that frequency. Definitely don't do that. Again, this is only really for people that are like know what they're doing. If not, just stick to the normal performance tab. And with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.